Hi, this is Don Felker, author of Android Tablet Application Development for Dummies and Android Application Development for Dummies. In this bonus material screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use the strings.xml file as well as additional strings files to store configuration data for your application. So what we have here is we already have a brand new, newly created Android project. This project's name is Dummies Bonus Material. I'm going to open the res folder go into values, open the strings.xml file. We'll see here that we have two strings that were created for us by the Android SDK uh, and the Android development tools. First string is hello, it says hello world main activity here. And the second one is the app name, which is just called dummies bonus material. What these strings do are allow us to abstract out the string information for the application. So this is great for when you want to have your application developed in multiple different languages such as English, Chinese, Italian, Spanish, etc. However, this model sort of falls down when you need to store configuration data in your strings resources. And this configuration data may be something like the Google Analytics application ID or the configuration ID of some other application or third-party tool that you may use. Normally, you would store this in another string such as this and we'll just say it's a Google analytics ID and your ID may be a whole bunch of different characters that Google has assigned to you and then you can use this string inside of your application so if we go into the layout go into main this is a layout for our application you see our layout is loaded we have a string here which is a hello world main activity that is the string that came with the default implementation of the new project let's look at the XML we see we have that string hello here. That's what the, act, the string displayed. And if we type in string here, we're going to see we have Google Analytics ID. So that's great. If we look back at the strings file, we can access any of these strings from within our layout. However, there's going to be times when you'd like to send the strings file to another linguist to have them translate it to another language. You do not want them to translate Google Analytics ID. And at the end of the day, this data has no real relevance to a linguist at all and actually shouldn't even be sent to them. So what you can do is actually create multiple different strings files that do different things for you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new Android XML file. We'll say new file here. And it's going to, it's going to call this one bonus material config. You can name this whatever you want. It could be my application config, it could be foo, it could be bar.xml, it could be anything.xml. I'm going to place it inside of values. It's going to have the same format as the other resources. So if you go over to the strings XML, you can pretty much just copy this if you'd like to get your basic formatting down. Delete the strings that don't matter to you because this is just another strings file. What the Android ADT is going to do, the Android development tools, is going to understand this as a resource file since it's inside of the values directory of the resources and it's going to treat these as resources. It's giving us an error here because it already finds this Google Analytics ID inside of another file. So let's go get this one out of here. And we're just going to use this regular strings XML file for actual strings that are going to show up in the application. And so we have bonus material config here. So we have Google Analytics ID. If we go back to the main XML file which is our layout we still see that we have access to Google Analytics ID. So what's happening is the Android development tools are compiling all of the resources in the values directory seeing that inside of this XML file we have some resources and one is a string. We could add another string in here if we want to. So we can say string, name, we could say maybe there's an API key for some API that you're going to connect with. Maybe it's Twitter, maybe it's Eventbrite, maybe it's some other application and you can type in this information here. And maybe that's your API key for that. And over here you can have access again to this API key. And there's the API key. So when you run this now, you'll actually be able to have access to keep your strings inside of a regular strings file for the readable strings that maybe need to be translated to different languages. And then for any configuration type of data, you can store it inside of another strings file. And at compilation time, Android will compile all the strings down and make them available to your application. Thank you.